All right, boys, let's talk Champions League. Christian Pulisic had a goal against Liverpool on Tuesday, but it wasn't enough for AC Milan as they lost 3-1. to one. But how about these numbers? Since his arrival at Milan last season, he is number one, tied for number one, but still number one, in goal contributions among all players in Serie A. Impressive, no doubt. Equally impressive was the goal itself. Shaka, what would you make of that uh, early strike against Liverpool? Um... Impressive for, for Christian Pulisic, just, just throughout. Um, listen, I, I think the goal is just one of those things you expect from him, but I, I think more to the point, Christian Pulisic and his performances for, for Milan have been, have been simply outstanding. And this is from someone who I, I thought was making the wrong move in going to a club like AC Milan. Why? I thought that was a little bit above where he needed to be. Mm. For, for all his talents, didn't really make it to Dortmund, didn't really make it to Chelsea. And I know there were extenuating circumstances. But I just thought a step down to a lower, probably Premier League club would, would suit him better. Going to a club like Milan, and while Milan aren't the club that certainly I remember from the 90s, I think there's still a certain amount of expectation around that football club. Uh, and I just wondered how that would kind of affect Christian Pulisic's ability to settle in and find his game and rediscover his confidence. I was, I was wrong. Mm. I, I, I hold my hands up. I, I was very wrong about that. Or more to the point, I, I think Christian Pulisic just um, found a level that, that surprised a lot of people. Um, and, and credit to him for that. So it's less... So I, I say that to say it's less a case of me being wrong than Christian Pulisic just going there and asserting his talents in, in, in a way that I don't think many other players could or would have. What about the goal, Herc? Did you see him assert his talents there? Because it, it was kind of a, I mean, it's not a solo run, but he basically I, picks up the ball at midfield. It's vintage Pulisic. It's everything that he showcases how good he can be. Um, you know, the, the drive, the speed. Uh, he assesses whether he should pass the ball or not and then decides to pick his spot and puts it in. It, it's all the great things about Christian Pulisic. He's one of the more prolific of 1v1 players out there, and if you give him open space, more often than not, he's going to punish you. So that's that's not surprising. It's also not surprising he scored against Liverpool. For whatever mm -hmm. reason, this man loves playing against Liverpool. Back in the Chelsea days, it's just some a team that he gets really up for. And it's a Champions League game, so you would understand. Disappointing um, with the result, and maybe one or two plays where I felt he wasn't himself, gave the ball away, but certainly in front of goal, certainly when it's time to attack, that's when he's on. Uh, and, and I don't know if I agree with Shaq about uh, disappointed or surprised by the move. Italian football has been fickle over the mm -hmm. years. Uh, certainly Inter the last two to three seasons has been a, a mainstay, but Milan gave up 19 points to him last season. So certainly not the Milan of old, like you mentioned. Napoli is not the Napoli of old. Juve, for, for you know, all their problems, uh, still can't get it together in that sense. So I, I think the level's good for him. I think, I think it's turning heads. I'm not surprised to see him... Uh, doing this well. I'm surprised that he's doing better than everybody else on his team. Mm. I, I really do think he's a standout player. I know we all look at Rafa Leao and think he's the guy there. And maybe the statistics will show it, and that is a little bit surprising to me because uh, he's a frustrating player to watch at times. But I really do think the one player you can trust on in that offensive end for Milan is Christian Pulisic. I mean, to that point, really, when you hear people talk about AC Milan, they always say the best player is Rafael Leao. But if we think of best being most consistent... Then to your point, it probably is Christian Pulisic. Like, he's, he's there every game, and when you hear people complain about Rafael Leao, it is that he drifts in and out. I, I, yeah, I don't disagree with the word you just said. You look at that lineup. Uh, Morata, the inconsistencies with play, was plagued him throughout his career. Rafael Leao, whether it's with Portugal or with Milan, uh, for as high of a ceiling that he does have as a talented footballer, most often than not, he leaves you frustrated in that final third. Uh, you know, wrong decisions. Christian Pulisic will always look to make the right decision. And if you give him a second, give him a, an ounce of space or, or an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. I think he's been, uh, out of all the offensive players dating back from last season, even Oliver Giroud, uh, Lau, Loftus Cheek when he was in his moment, he was by far the most consistent. Is it just playing time, Shaka, or have you seen something else in Christian Pulisic at Milan that we didn't see at Chelsea? Um... I think it's I think it's 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 more than playing time. And 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 again, you come into the whole Chelsea situation. I thought was was an odd one for Pulisic from the start. Mauricio Sarri signs him, but then says it's not really. I didn't sign him. It's not it's not a player I wanted. And and that's a difficult circumstance for anybody. So it, I, I think Christian Pulisic came into the club. And listen, I I understand you. 
despite what was happening at Dortmund, a club like Chelsea come come calling, you you respond, you go. And but then you get you find yourself in this situation that's not his making and it's not ideal. And then Sarri's out the door, and then you have another manager who's coming in and trying to fix things, and you may not necessarily be his player. So I, I think he he came into a situation that um, that that didn't serve him well. That 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 worked against him. So almost it's not necessarily about playing time, but just about the dysfunction of Chelsea as as a football club that affected Christian Pulisic. Which is why, again, I, I thought, listen, get away from that. Find yourself somewhere where you're settled. You know you're a star player. You know you're wanted. And nobody questions that. And you, and you find, you find I, I, as, as I say, you, you find that, that voice in, in the British Commons that you see so often with the U.S. men's national team, where nobody questions that. Nobody questions whether Pulisic is going to be starting, whether he's a star or not. And he rises to that. And so I thought... Go to a club where uh, you have that same circumstance. I'm not, and again, going in, I wasn't sure that Milan was that club because of their struggles, because of a fan, day, a fan base that still remembers the 90s. But he has gone, and, and as, as I say, I, I, I cannot think of another player with, who's had a couple of moves similarly, you know, before, and then found, at a club like Milan, found the kind of form that Pulisic has. Certainly 